Stop number six on the Cash Ledge Cash Nationwide Series brings us to Texas Motor Speedway, the Great American Speedway, as some call it. It's the running of the Samsung Mobile 300. A uh, couple of. For, uh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not with it here today. On the pole race, race at 198 miles an hour, it's Maddie Carr, number 62. The winner at Daytona beside her, Keith Batson, number 6. Row number 2, Daniel Day in the 87, and the 11 of Jillian Wilson. Row number three has the five of Chris Washer, our winner at um, at Rockingham, and alongside of him, Luke Walker in the 89. T.J. Williams in the two starts inside row number four. Beside him, Cameron Johnson in the 77. Then it's Craig Batson in 43, and then beside him, Russ Batson in the 16. The Batsons uh, about to, uh, are in the same row together in row number five. Uh, 20 laps of uh, order of the day here at this race at Texas, by the way. Row number six has Jessica Shelton in the 33, and beside her is the 22 of Jared Stone. And here comes the command to fire him up here at Texas. Drivers, start your engines! Man, giving the party engines. Row number seven has the 12 car of Tim Gardner, and beside him the four of Joshua Michaels. Row number seven has PJ Williams. Row number, yeah, row number eight actually has PJ Williams in the three. Beside him is the 44 of Derek Benas. And row number 9 has the 30 of Andres Allen and the 14 of Preston Florida, winner in Atlanta and Bristol. And then it's Mark Matthews and Kyle Matthews in row number 10. A Ford Chevy front row here at Texas Motor Speedway. As the field about the round out turn number 4. As they come out to number four, the Samsung Mobile 300 is underway. Green flag in the air. We're underway at Texas. Maddie Carr jumps out of the front, car number 62, as she pulls ahead of Keith Batson. Three wide racing already, or almost making a three wide just about. As Daniel Day and Keith Batson run alongside. Now they're three wide for about the eighth or ninth spot. As Maddie Carr comes out of corner number four, she'll lead the first lap of the event. These cars very, very fast. The first lap already over 170 miles per hour here in Texas. Remember, they qualified at 198 miles an hour on this racetrack. Craig Batson and Jessica Shelton both making a big move there as they go by. They're trying to go by the five of Chris Washer. Batson now to second place, but now Shelton, she's got something to say about that in a 33 car. As she tries for the number two spot, Keith Batson shoving her. So they got ladies running one, two, but for how long? Because Keith Batson goes inside now for second place. And he'll take second away from Jessica Shelton with Cameron Johnson right behind. So a gaggle of cars running right behind the leader, Maddie Card. Maddie, one of the graduates from the track from the ARWS Traxxas Truck Series. And that terrific battle, remember the two head between her and Maddie Carr, or her and Cheyenne Kloss, the other graduate from the truck series. They both uh, put up, they both put on a whale of a battle for the points championship, which Maddie looked like she had won. That was until Cheyenne made a last a uh, few laps charge in the in the in the race at Homestead, and Cheyenne took that championship away by three points over Maddie Card. So. And now we got problems apparently on the front. Oh my gosh! A big mess. Kyle Matthews is in it. Joshua Osborne. Tim Feigl's in it. Matthew Daly's in it. Chris Washer's in it. Daniel Day. TJ Williams. Oh, Grant Thomas. Hard crash. TJ Williams, he might have been in it. Joshua Collard. Ryan Acosta's crashed. Dalton Day. Boy, who's going to be left in this race? Russ Batson was in the crash. Preston Plored, he's not going to make a three in a row. Ryan Richards is in the crash. Luke Walker, Jessica Shelton. Shelton, I think, was the one that flipped. 
Well, no time to let the president look and see what happened in replay. That was a horrific mess on the front stretch. Here at Texas Motor Speedway. And check and see what cost it. It was, it was up near the front. Yeah. Cameron Johnson and um, Mark Matthews started the whole thing. Oh my gosh, and Jessica Shelton, she got tossed around good here. Yeah, my gosh. Jessica flips about three or four times on the front stretch. Kyle, uh, Luke Walker's also on his roof. 15 of Leia Walker, she's in it as well. So we saw the Jessica Shelton flip now. Uh, I believe, yeah, let's watch the 77 and the 10. Yeah, Cameron Johnson got turned by Keith Batson, and Keith hits his hits his dad, Craig. And this eventually starts into a little holocaust on the front stretch. Oh my gosh, Tim Feigl, he, gets, he crashes hard in that 27. Jared Stone in the 22, he's crashed out. Like I said, I think your better question is who was not involved in this crash. <laughs> I think probably your top 10 or so cars. Dylan Young, he's crashed as well. There's Dalton Day. And Ryan Acosta, you see, I think he's... He's just tooling along. Jared Stone bumps Ryan Richards. He's... Yeah, there's where Ryan Acosta spun. Joshua Michaels hits him on what that was all about. Now I want to see this in, re in, re in the onboard camera here. Let's go for a ride with Jessica Shelton. This is going to be a wild ride. Jessica ends up on her side smoking bad. So she's knocked out of the race. And just in time, lights are off on the pace car. We'll have 12 laps to go when we get to the start finish line. Maddie Card has led the whole way so far. PJ Williams in the three runs in second place now. Third is Andre Allen. Fourth, Tim Gardner. In fifth position now is Craig Batson. Then it's Jillian Wilson, Charles Sanford, Cole Daly, Cody Swenson, and Mark Matthews is in 10th place to spot a damaged up car. But I don't think he'll be up there for long. Luke Walker, the lap car, he's in the inside. <coughs> Field coming out of turn number four. The green flag about to set the wave. This says the Samsung Mobile 300 restarts on lap number nine. The green flag back in the air. We're back in our way. Let's keep your eye on that lap car of Luke Walker. Sometimes lap cars can cause trouble. Ooh. Cheyenne Kloss in a battle with Dustin Sloniker in the 51. Andres Allen goes inside of Manny Card for the lead. Here they come out to number four, side by side. Who leads this lap? Card does, but barely. And now Andres Allen goes inside, and he's going to take the lead away. 11 laps to go here in Texas. This is going to be a wild shootout here as we decide it all. And Jillian Wilson goes inside three wide. Charles Samer almost made it four wide in turn number three.
10 to go now. Julian Wilson out in front. Charles Samper, PJ Williams. Two hundred miles an hour. The pack, those pack of cars are running. We saw a lap of two hundred miles an hour on a couple of cars here, and Sanford does not lead the lap. P.J. Williams does. Craig Batson runs in second position now. Third is Cole Daly. Fourth, Cody Swinson. In a thirty-one. Here comes Daly. Daly on the inside in the eighty-eight car, but the lead. He's got it. Cody Swinson sticks his nose on the inside. Three Chevrolets on the inside. Eight laps to go. About nine cars decided all here at Texas Motor Speedway. Maybe ten, possibly. And any one of them can win it. Maddie Carr goes in second position now, but here comes inside goes Julian Wilson in the 11. He's up there. Andres Allen in the 30. Sam Constantine, we haven't talked much about him in that 24 car. He runs in 6th. And Sam having his best, uh, Sam having an impressive rookie season so far. Running up in the top 10 points right now in the number 24 SR2 Motorsports machine. No, that's not a Hendrick Motorsports piece. Because it would be a Chevrolet if it is. Because this, you know, but this number 24 car is a Toyota. For SR2 Motorsports, the I Am Second machine, which also fields the pro stock car of Mike Edwards in the NHRA circuit. Cole Daly out in front. Manny Card goes back inside for second. She's going to take another, take another swing at it. As it come out to number four. Five laps to go here in the Samsung Mobile 300. Lap car up ahead as Luke Walker. Maddie Card inside for the lead. She's going to get it in turn number three. She's got it. PJ Williams in a, in a three shoving her. Four Chevrolets and a Toyota in the top five. Four to go. And here comes Williams on the inside. And Williams, he gets loose in the middle. He almost hits Manny Card. Cody Swenson goes inside, but he's going to take the lead. He and Williams touch. And now Cheyenne Claw, she gets into it in the 99. Where did she come from? Cheyenne the third. Four, three laps to go now. Cheyenne Kloss for the lead. Looking for her first ever Cash to Watch Nationwide Series victory. She's won a few times in the Traxxas Truck Series. Now looking for her first Nationwide win. Maddie Card responded to the call at Daytona. If you remember, in her first Nationwide Series, she won the event at Daytona. Now Cheyenne looks to answer the call again at Texas. And if they keep battling back there, she might pull it off. But they'll be, they'll be coming to the white flag this time by, and these cars are looking hungry here. But that is a shine can get by some lap traffic. And she gets hung up behind Cameron Johnson in the 77. Julian Wilson goes to second place now. Julian dives inside. Cheyenne throws the block. White flag waves. One lap remaining in Texas. And on the outside goes Craig Batson. It's going to be a question of who gets out of those lap traffic first. And Cheyenne, she's going to kick the lead, but here comes Julian Wilson on the inside. Charles Sanford, he gets into it. Wilson dives inside of Card. Here they come up the fourth corner. Cheyenne and Julian side by side of the line. It is Julian Wilson winning it. Julian Wilson with a damaged up race car, I think. Yeah, Julian Wilson wins his wins his first race of the season's five of the series. 
As he takes home the Samsung Mobile 300, heartbreaker for Cheyenne Kloss. I tell you, she only got out from behind that lap traffic sooner on the back stretch. She might have pulled it off, but... Lap traffic once again, as it so often has been the case lately, determining the outcome of these races. And it turns out, I don't know if Jillian's car is damaged or not. Uh, I don't know, but... Average speed race, 137.622, 84 thousandths from first to third. And about a half a car separated the first two front two cars. Jillian Wilson wins here today. Cheyenne Kloss a heartbreaking second place. Uh, Charles Sanford, third. Sam Constantine, fourth. Fifth is Matty Card. Sixth is Cody Swenson. P.J. Williams, Andre Sellen, Cole Daly, and Tim Gardner in the top ten. Then it's Craig Batson, Dustin Sloniker, uh, Jeff James, Derek Benaz, Joshua Collard, 15th after being involved in the first crash. Uh, Keith Batson, 16th. Ryan Richards, 17th. Raleigh Houston, 18th, 19th, Dylan Young, 20th, Jared Stone. So some of the guys that were in the first crash still coming home with top 20 finishes here today. So very impressive here at Texas. Uh, Matthew Daly, 21st in the race. So not a good day for him. Give you some of the rest of the order here. Cars out of the race. Uh, 11, 12 cars out of the race here today. Russ Batson, uh, TJ Williams, uh, Daniel Day, Joshua Michaels, Preston Blord, Kyle Matthews, Jessica Shelton, Joshua Osborne, Ryan Acosta, Dalton Day, Grant Thomas, and Leah Walker all out of the race. Um, all because of crashes except for uh, Joshua Michaels with a clutch problem, Preston Plord with a field leak, and Dalton Day with a header problem. But a big win for Jillian Wilson, car number 11, the one main financial Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing, gets the win here today at Texas Wilt Motor Speedway. And, our next, and here's our points they are right now. Matty Card has a 59-point lead on Cole Daly, uh, Sam, uh, Craig Batson, Sam Constantine, and Jared Stone, the top five. Then 6 through 10, Preston Plord, uh, Derek Benas, uh, Andre Salen, Raleigh Houston and Cody Swenson, the top 10. Julian Wilson's win moved him up into the 11 spot in the points, but just one point behind the top 10. Not too soon to be thinking about points right now. As, going, as we said before, every point you gain could mean the difference in the championship. And there's the rest of the order right now, and some big names down there in the points chase. Um, Matthew Daly down 26th position. Kyle Matthews, who had a good season last season with the Johanna Long car. 28th right now on the points chase uh, in a tie with Tim Feigl. Uh, Luke Walker in 30th. Dalton Day in 31st. Keith Batson down in 34th. He's probably gonna, no, he's not happy with the season right now as they are. And Mark Matthews down in last place. Next race on the tour will be at the Nashville Fairgrounds. The Marty Robbins 250. Don't miss it.